Prime Minister Stephen Harper rejigged his cabinet today, and Vancouver Island North MP John Duncan is on the move. He's taking over the Ministry of Indian Affairs. Duncan may be a newcomer to the federal cabinet, but he's a veteran on Parliament Hill after 17 years. It is a big story in his constituency, particularly among First Nations communities. Local politicians and First Nations leaders say they are glad this longtime politician finally is getting recognition with a cabinet nod. Gord Kerbis has their reaction. The staff at John Duncan's constituency office in Courtney have spent much of today fielding phone calls from across the country. They're all focusing on the same topic, the appointment of the MP as the new Minister of Indian and Northern Affairs. Oh, they're excited and uh, happy. The congratulatory messages that John's been getting have been, people are excited that he's been put in this position. His staff were unaware their boss was in line for the promotion, but they did think something was up when the Prime Minister's office made calls yesterday, suddenly looking for bios and photographs of Duncan. Uh, it was a surprise to us, but it's something, of course, Mr. Duncan would aspire to. Uh, most members of Parliament would be happy to get a camp posting, and of course, I'm, I know he's excited. The promotion was welcome news throughout Duncan's riding of Vancouver Island North. Chiefs like Campbell River's Bob Pollard were pleased Duncan will now be at the top of the ministry. That's great news. John's been, you know, a member of Parliament for a long time, and, you know, I think he deserved a ministry job way before this ever come up. Duncan was first elected to the House of Commons in 1993 and has served in Parliament for 14 years. Until today, he was the Parliamentary Secretary for Indian and Northern Affairs. That means he's already very familiar with the First Nations issues. The First Nations are such an important part of British Columbia. John understands that. He's had a lot of experience in the rural areas of British Columbia. I think he'll bring a lot of knowledge and experience to the portfolio, and I look forward to seeing what he can do. His expanded duties could be heating up shortly as more First Nations communities get into complicated treaty negotiations. Although this negotiator says Duncan's past experience will be helpful. Uh, we have a really good working relationship with him. He's always made himself available to us and uh, been supportive on all our treaty issues, including the goose bed issue as well. Campbell River's mayor says having a cabinet minister representing the North Island should be helpful for everyone. And, uh, having a cabinet minister and a member of parliament representing our area means that perhaps we'll get more attention. This is Duncan's first appointment to a cabinet position. And while many are happy with the promotion, none were as thrilled as Duncan's mother, who today watched the swearing-in ceremony in Ottawa. I think he does excellent work. He'll be very happy in here, and we're lucky he's around. <laughs> Duncan's first visit back to the North Island is expected at the beginning of next week. In Campbell River, Cord Curvis, A News.